Hello, survivors, and welcome to Cast Our Colony. In today's video, we're going to be playing this game courtesy of the developers that were kind enough to give us a key to try out the game, and I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit. Now, the game is like a base builder as well as a roguelite, so as you can see, we can go and clean up our colony. Uh, the premise of it is essentially we got kicked out of our own colony, and we have to start over and uh, kind of go there. Now, we do defend the colony. That's the whole roguelike uh, shtick to the game and we can go then and you know grab buildings get more powerful so if we go look over here we've got ourselves the gym the ultimate protein powder over here with gyms and bell bars and if we go and speak to this guy iron chad we get our meta progression over here so it tells us all the stats by pressing tab what they all do and then we need to go and collect all of this uh for everything uh, i have no idea what a workout fee does but i gotta go check that maybe that has to do with the level or maybe Maybe that's just a strength bonus but uh, when we get to a thousand we'll have a look we'll see once we finished the round uh, to see what that actually does ourselves and then like things like the well are aesthetic and then you can go to the workbench over here and go and upgrade your base as you like but as you can see there's a whole bunch of different things uh, let me just pretend to put something down and you can see there's a whole bunch of things in the yard to go and destroy and we can then go and get a more uh, uh, what do you call them helpers uh, to go and help us get rid of this stuff so right now we've only got one helper there and we need to unlock the other two to be able to go and get rid of the big blocks so uh we we, we got to still work a little bit over there but let's get straight into the actual gameplay let's just go and take a look we've only unlocked the first level we haven't even completed it just yet it is quite difficult it does require quite a bit of grinding uh, but you know that's typical of these games there is no auto aim in the game as well which is a bit uh, unfortunate it would be nice to have seen an auto aim uh, would make it a lot easier especially with the grinding uh, if we could just do the movement and not worry about where we're hitting but besides for that uh, everything else about it is pretty cool there are other characters which use the same currency to unlock uh, so you know again a lot to farm for but at least it's only one currency that you are farming for to unlock everything and once you've got everything there you can work on what it is that you want to work on or whatever it is uh, you know what you're aiming to get and then as you can see there are enemies like this one that have the red eyes these are the elite enemies as you kill them they drop a chest if you're lucky enough the chest will turn into a a rarer chest which gives you three upgrades instead of just one but in that case we upgraded our stick foo <laughs> quite a funny little name over there and again like i mentioned we we gotta go and get a couple of upgrades to kind of help us now velocity it is a rare passive skill to projectile speed is increased we don't have any projectiles uh, active so we're just going to upgrade our thorn whip i actually don't really personally like any of the projectile skills right now so he has a projectile one again not really such a fan of it per se so we're going to go and upgrade our thorn again uh, again uh, i don't know it's just personal preference of course we probably will land up taking it but much later and then the projectile speed for it doesn't actually matter because the enemies are on top of you anyway all the time so i really don't see a point in getting that and then that 0.2 that you keep seeing on the screen by my character is health regen we did go and level it quite a bit uh, not quite a bit we put two levels into it we get 0.2 life back every second it does seem quite powerful the heart that you saw on the floor earlier was a heal it heals you for 10 hp every time you pick one up and then there are these uh trees i guess or they look like seeds on the map or acorn trees or whatever the case is and they drop you some of the extra currency that you need to upgrade absolutely everything so flowers is the wording all right so we're going to go for the leaf barrier that's the same as like your garlic or every other game has their type of rotating skill around you and this is this game so you rotate a leaf around you that's going to hit enemies for a specific amount of time and then it disappears as you level it up it deals more damage it spins around you faster you get more leaves that spin around you and so on and so forth so we just run around in a circle try and get ourselves as much xp as possible looking to get as powerful as possible 
like we want to do in all of these now as we progress through the waves we are going to see new enemies spawning we are going to like there we go we see venus fly traps now not sure why we're not a fly uh actually we are a bug i guess it does count but <laughs> uh let's see stick foos cooldown being reduced by 0 0.5 seconds or 25 seconds sorry could have misread that and we get a new oh there we go we got a nice chest a level six of vine so we get one additional vine it's reduced by 0 0.25 seconds and its base damage went up by 20 that is massive so our vines are actually going to be doing a lot of damage now uh, think of it now that we get a double vine whip uh, meaning that we're actually going to be doing a lot of damage to whatever it is that we hit with it which is actually fantastic because some of the elite enemies that will be showing up are going to be really really tough and we're actually going to get a lot of spawns on the enemies so i think i've made it to like wave uh, 11 or i think we went over wave 10 and then we just get overwhelmed so i think getting this thorn upgrade is actually going to be really really cool now leaf shuriken is actually the starting weapon of one of the characters it says when dashing throw a large shuriken in the direction in which the character is facing i'm not really happy with playing with that right now we're hardly using our dash i'm gonna go for the acorn and acorn crushes a random enemy uh sounds just fun uh oh uh, yeah there yeah, that is cool so that's like meteor and soulstone survivors just just randomly whack someone on the head with an acorn it seems pretty fair <laughs> i like it <laughs> just see this acorn drop in something's head all right xp does fall off quite a lot right now so you can see we are level seven and uh, we are going to struggle probably to try and get more levels hopefully we can because i want more i will go and level up xp gain of course in the meta progression when we get the chance to but we first want to see what that workout in the gym does for us maybe it makes us start at a higher level maybe it just increases all of our base stats who knows until we try it out and it will be very very interesting so as you can see like i mentioned we do get overwhelmed quite quickly uh, luckily we do have quite a lot of damage coming from the vine whip as well as our base attack but we do want to try and get all of these things i want to try and get away from here because as soon as the elite spawns it's going to be a lot harder for us all right we do get a ooh, yeah we're going to go for the cooldown on it so there's the next elite we should be able to kill it relatively quickly because we are really strong right now especially with our vine whip as long as i actually hit the elite with the vine whip that would be great taking a little bit of damage do a bit of a dodge there All right, so the elite is dead. Do we get another big chest? No, we didn't. We get another plus uh, projectile to the leaf shield, which is like I said, you do get more leaves as it levels up. And we do get a whack ton of XP from that chest as well. So close to the next level up. There we go. Light flashes around the character, uh, temporarily stuns enemies. That is actually really, really good. I'm happy to grab that one. Stunning enemies is going to be very, very impactful in my life. So we happy to grab that. That was a rare upgrade, a rare skill as well. So very happy to take it. We get a bug zapper. Survivability. All right, now every time I have played this and even though I keep dying and I haven't really finished the map, we still unlock more and more and more every time we die or every time we go there. There isn't a glossary as far as I know. Uh, we'll go double check the library because we do have the library unlocked, but I don't recall seeing a glossary. If there is a glossary, then that will help to see, you know, how you unlock certain things. But uh, as far as I know, it's just playing the game. As soon as you just keep playing, you keep unlocking more and more and more. You unlock more buildings, you unlock more skills, more uh, passives, more actives. You know, it just you get stronger and stronger with every single playthrough in the game. So there is some form of progression. You don't feel like you're doing the exact same build or the exact same playthrough in the game. I just, I don't know. The only thing to me is the amount of XP. Uh, I do wish the XP gain was a little bit better. 
Okay, here's the next elite. It is a fly trap. And now we get a lot of enemies spawning around us. So we kind of got to just maneuver ourselves around quite a lot. I do want to try and kill this uh, fly trap as quickly as possible because the quicker we can kill it, the sooner we're able to get that chest, that juicy, juicy chest with all of the XP in it uh, for ourselves. All right, that was actually a really quick, uh, you know, kill on the elite over there. So that was massive. We do get all of that juicy XP over here as well beautiful we've nearly leveled as well again which is going to give us even more power so come on give me level up yeah all right we get to increase the zapper stun duration that's fantastic i would like it to have a lower cooldown though because the more we can zap the more safe we will be but let's see we're on wave eight now there's a heal like i mentioned it does only heal you for 10 hp which is actually pretty lot I, I don't actually see the amount of xp we have i mean hp not xp but uh 10 seems like quite a lot as you can see there we did just get a whole whack of it back so that's why i'm assuming 10 hp is a lot acorn putting in some work uh, I don't believe there is a, a skill damage at the end of this. That would be cool as well. Something to think about adding for the developers. But the game just released into early access yesterday. So, you know, there's still a bit more. One addition. Oh, we got 132 HP. So there we go. One additional thorn. I do like firecracker as well, but we got to go with the thorn whip. A triple whip. That is a massive amount of damage coming in right there. I think that chest where we got a three thorn whips was actually insane. It really helped us get ahead of the, uh, you know, the pack, if you want to call it that. And this definitely looks like a really, really good run uh, for us today. So. This is fantastic. We also do unlock our ultimate, so we're going to use it right now just so you can see what it's like. So we spin around, you know, you, we become a Beyblade of a bug. Quite cool. And we get to unlock the next level of the Zapper. We reduced its cooldown by 0.5 seconds, which to me, I think that's a pretty decent cooldown. As nearly a second, uh, you know, cooldown on a skill is actually quite big. depending on what its actual cooldown is, but you can't really click on anything, so you can't, don't really get to see it. All right, plus one additional projectile. That means we get two acorns falling on things' heads now. That's beautiful. You love to see the damages. I don't know, there's something about the aesthetic of this game which is really cool. Alright, we got a big spider boss in front of us over there, as you can see. We are going to thorn whip its face the whole time. Try and get it down and dead as quickly as possible. But you can see we are taking a lot of damage. Unnecessary damage, I might add, as well, because I'm just not concentrating on where we're going. Give me laugh. Ooh, a magnet. That's beautiful. Damage increase for our Thorn Whip. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. I don't think it's actually going to help us, though, because as you can see, we're just not killing everything around us fast enough. Health regen definitely doing its job for us. But the spider is like just not dying so this is why I would like the auto aim so this is where I got to last time as well we just didn't manage to kill the spider and then we start getting these like uh, lizard gecko kind of enemies and we just get overrun so still not powerful enough to finish the wave it does say there's 24 waves we only on wave 12 we can't even kill the spider i have no idea what happens if we do kill the spider as well i don't believe i've killed it before 
But as you can see, we are overrun and we're gonna get chomped here very soon. No, I don't want to get chomped. Don't chomp me. Maybe we can live the, through this somehow. Nope, we got attacked from behind. All right, so that was the basis of the game. As you can see, we unlocked a new skill, Gatherer, Poison Sparks as well. That's pretty cool. We got 6,000 flower coins, which is gonna help us increase things. So you get a lot of flower coins uh, for defeating enemies. You also get a 15% bonus based on our colony, which is really, really cool. No survival bonus. We probably get quite a lot for that. Let's go back to the colony so we can see what that gym upgrade is. We are going to go and upgrade some of our passives and hopefully that helps us. So you do get different characters over here. We do get the uh, uh, Anisoptera over here with the Leaf Shuriken as your starting skill. He does get a lot of dash upgrades as his perks, so that's very interesting. We get a Rock Ket. Um, that's probably just a, a, a projectile speed. Yeah, I thought so. Crystal Orbit, no idea what that does. Stink and Stinger. So we do have to kind of unlock all the characters to try and see where they all go and what they do. But before that, let's go take a look over here. We didn't unlock anything new for the colony, which is a bit unfortunate. But I do want to see what happens if we click on the uh, workout fee over here to next level i have no idea what this does but you know let's just check so if we click that oh okay so we're gonna click on that does that mean now that we start the run with that over there that is actually very very powerful so let's grab that one more time and fire sparks out the character in four diagonal directions uh or we can throw what happens if i don't want this as an upgrade i don't get a choice uh, this is an epic active skill, so we will take it. And I have no idea what that does, but we'll we'll go for that. Um, and then we've got ourselves ultimate charge. Could be really good because it is really, really slow right now. Magnet's very good. Uh, we don't have enough for the experience, which is a bit unfortunate. So we might go for something like an HP regen with some laugh upgrades as well so that we get more life, we get 0.3 HP recovery now, which is actually pretty good, and we can't afford anything else over there. So next video, if you guys enjoyed this one a lot, we can go and take a look at whether or not this works out the way that I think it does. It does show us as starting off at level three, so I think it does, and that it makes us a lot stronger and probably go a lot quicker throughout the gameplay. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.